Welcome back to Cosmic Kickback with your co-hosts Nick Brea and uh, Joshua Fowler. And we got guesting today. Me, Michael. A special... <laughs> is that your phone? Wait, is that your phone? Yeah. Turn that, it that, off. That's your text tone? <laughs> Dude, I, that was good timing because I was like introducing him. <laughs> got a special guest and it was like... <laughs> and it's like, what the fuck is that? What happens in a group chat blows up? Like, yo, I thought he did that on purpose. I thought he was like waiting. I thought no, he was waiting for me to intro him. him. No, yeah, yeah. I, I thought he. I thought you were waiting me for no. to intro you so you could just be like. Dee, dee. Oh no! I, I, that was like all. That was just the text. <laughs> you have okay. to start editing in like a studio audience clap. So it looks like the studio like behind. The camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We uh, we're still in the broke studio for this week. <laughs> it's my bedroom. <laughs> broke. Yeah. I'm not we, a fucking. Yeah. We're broke we, ass. We have a couple ideas for like a new place uh gonna have to figure it out but yeah. until then we're just gonna be chilling here with no table just mics over nick's shoulders um today's gonna be a very very laid back episode very just off the rails i guess right yeah. we we uh we brought michael on here because michael's the king of being off the rails you know how it is so uh what's what's happened within the last week nick? uh a lot of shit. I mean, like, we talked about Ben Stiller's father passing away. Did we even talk about that? Yeah, in the last one with uh, Christian. The last one. Damn, that was like two weeks ago. Um, yeah. Damn. Let's see, this week that's happened. Yeah, there's a bunch of shit going the on. Biden like, the Biden stuff happened this week? The who? The Biden stuff, like the Joe Biden stuff? Probably. Yeah, there's a lot of political okay. stuff What's... going on. I don't know if I want to talk about it just because, like, I, don't, yeah, I feel I don't like know a lot of people this are already this talking about it. But I think that's, like, one of the biggest things besides, like, the. This is a chill uh, podcast. We're gonna bring that up. It's like we, a, we just talk about uh, a lot of different things. We'll tell a story. Topics. You're about to tell a story. Oh, off camera. Okay, yeah. So off camera, I was just telling a story about Michael here. Um, when he's a fake name, man. I mean, it's up to you. I'll leave it up. To what do you, it's up. I'll, I'll leave it up to Michael because it was him that did it. I mean, on the podcast, like I don't mind using my name. No, no, no. The person in. The story. Oh, I mean, yeah. He just said Michael. Yeah, we said it. Like, like, we, we, you've been on the podcast like five times. I was like, oh. I mean, yeah, you can use a fake name, I guess. For the other person? Yeah. That's okay, well, they're going to fucking know who it is because they watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Um, it's about the other people not knowing. All right, yeah, we're fine. Okay, yeah. It's not like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, we They're going to probably know, but like... I mean, yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so... It's better to be funny now because you kind of built it up to be funny. Oh, dude. <laughs> They'll give me that pressure. So, there's a, there's a good show called Futurama. And there's a scene in that show where I don't know the characters' names. I've only seen little clips from it. I've never watched the I show. Forgot I forgot. Yeah, I forgot what his name is. Um, anyway, there's a character, and I guess there was a meme out there where it says like, "Oh, like I spit hella game to like these girls or whatever." And then he caught this guy calls a girl, and she's like, "Hello," and it's like, <laughs> and he's just stuttering. She's like, "Hello, is anyone there?" And then he hangs up. And he's like, I love you. <laughs> like, off camera. <laughs> I actually saw the full episode. Yeah. It was pretty funny. So, we thought it would be funny if we'd get someone in our group of friends to uh, call some girl. And uh, preferably a girl they had a crush on, even though no one did that. Nick could have done it, but nah. Oh, so, it's like that. Well, I mean, it's not good. All right, good. y'all. Right. <laughs> so, but Michael volunteered to do so. And he didn't. He just called a random chick because we were like, you know, let's not call a chick. Yeah. Let's not call a girl that we'll have Michael's phone number saved because then it'll be like anonymous and they won't be like, Oh, this dude, Michael, what the hell? So we called, uh, let's call her, let's call her Jenny. <laughs> we, I don't know fucking Jenny. We, we called, yeah, need to do it. Yeah. We called Jenny from someone else's contacts to give Michael the number. And Michael is my, we all know who Jenny is. She's like a, a friend that we all know of. Yeah. And so Michael calls Jenny and we don't think Jenny has Michael's number saved. So we're like, okay, this will be fine. Jenny. She answered in like a couple rings, like two rings or something. We're like, oh shit. And she's like, hello? And then Michael just goes right into... And then Michael, instead of hanging up and saying, I love you, he just says, I love you. And then he hangs up. (laughs) You did it wrong. (laughs) Did you mean to do it like... No, I I actually... Because, like, bro, it, it, I mean, just, like it's funny it made way. it more yeah. funny. Yeah. It made it more funny, like, because <laughs> yeah. I just, like, paused, and then I was like, I, I love you, and then I just hung up. <laughs> she didn't even call back or text her. No, yeah, like, bro. <laughs> she definitely just blocked that number. I'd probably just be like, I don't know, wrong number. <laughs> Dude, bro. I thought it was so funny. Um, 
I don't know if that's gonna be funny to anyone else, but like dude, that shit was just, fucking hilarious. I think, I, I, think, I think more in the moment it was just super funny because like no well, one the, was expecting it. Well, I I'm, I'm, I think Jenny watches the uh, the podcast. Do you have anything you want to say to her right now, Michael? Since she's now aware of your identity, mm. if she remembers that. Yeah, do you, Jenny? <laughs> I mean, got anything to say to Jenny? What are you your still thoughts on like how I spit game? Like, <laughs> what are your thoughts on how? I spit? <laughs> So All right, Jenny, leave it down in the comments so below. Time. How does Michael spit game? What did like, you think of Michael? This dude's game? fucking pathetic. Calling you up. <laughs> Drop it down below, Jenny. For, Bro, we uh, can talk about a game on this podcast. You want to talk about <laughs> game? Oh, Since you kind of... What is the definition of game? Yeah, what is... Like, what would you define? Now we're talking like animals we hunt. Yeah, how would you like, define like game? Video games. What, you... what kind of game are you talking about? Like video games or like Let's talk about all the games. <laughs> no, I think game is like the like having the confidence and like being able to go up to talk, talk to a girl uh-uh. and like either get her number or just like woo her. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. That sounds very ancient. Woo. But... I guess we... <laughs> <laughs> Mostly though, I, I think people just like use the term like spitting game and shit. It's just like your way of like talking to someone of like the other gender or like your preferred like like who you like more. Like, yeah, whoever you like. Yeah, your, Regardless sexual, of gender. your sexual orientation. Yeah. We don't we don't stereotype here, Michael. Exactly. All right. <laughs> exactly. Not that he was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So all right. So you want to talk about like what game in general? Who has the best game or what? You tell funny game stories. Um, I feel like okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll drop some funny okay. game stories. <laughs> Michael, spit some game stories. It's like that's actually a good topic. It's a good thing we have Michael here because Michael probably I don't know how good he is at spitting game. I'm all I'm gonna say is Michael's probably spit the most game. Spat. 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 The most game into chicks' faces. Out of anybody in squad, because <laughs> Michael, you you have right after that phone call story, I'm kind of in Michael's day. Michael has hit up a good amount of uh, good amount of girls. I don't know, like, uh, because it's it sucks because like when you guys ask me like, oh, like how do you spit game or whatever? With me, it's just like it's. I guess in the sense, I just it's just like a regular conversation with the person. Like, well, don't sugarcoat it, bro. I mean, how a game go? I gotta mean, define game first. So it's just I'll, look, like I'll look it up a, while Michael tells the story. Yeah, let's see what Oxford has to say about it. <laughs> well, game like, is I know, able to woo I know back in like high school and stuff, like when I was anorexic as shit, and like <laughs> really? I really. Wait, do you have a photo because you could put it up? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Well, no, don't, you gotta just send it to me later and I'll throw it up on yeah. you. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see Michael. Um, but the, basically. He's anorexic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just send a skeleton. Basically, like. <laughs> I was super anorexic. I was way like, I mean, I'm still fucking awkward and shit, and yeah, I was pretty young and like weird. Um, but <laughs> like, I, I was worse back then in like middle school and high school, um, and then also like, uh, I was still like my looks and everything were still like developing, so I'm, uh, I didn't really even have the best looks, so it was a lot harder for me to like talk to girls and everything. Um, I heard that like if you're just also, funny, like you can get any girl. Well, yeah, that is true. The thing is also you make though, her laugh. You can make her. The thing is also though, what is the saying? If you, if you, if she thinks you're funny, you well, can you, get her honey. That's probably what it is. It's, maybe. It's, yeah, something like that. <laughs> that's weird, but like maybe it's. Like, <laughs> um, but like also with me, uh, I. I was also in a relationship throughout high school, so... so you hey, you cheating. were in a long relationship. He was cheating. No. Hey, no, he was. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. If you oh, go wait, back no, to no. the Valentine's I, episode... I remember it. It's, uh, if you can make her laugh, um, she can get the shaft. Is that it? What? <laughs> okay, now you're She just can get the shaft if whether sh- you make her laugh or not. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 hold no. on. <laughs> hold on. What is that supposed to... We're just I mean, like, this. whether or not she laughs, you'll still want, like, to get with her. Okay. I mean, I it should be like, if you make her laugh, then she'll want you. Yeah, okay. I don't know what it is, but let me let me stop you real quick. I got the the uh, definition. Dude, that's Urban Dictionary. That's Bro, the... it's not going to be in Oxford. It's Bro, it's not, yeah, it's not going to be in like the fucking like... Here, this approved. is the definition of uh, spitting game. It's to use charm, wit, humor, or other means to verbally let a female know you are interested in her. Often includes compliments and other forms of flattery that will hopefully end in a phone number, which leads to a date... Which leads to, yeah. Do you want to, do you want me to read their, it it says hot sex. That's what they wrote. Um, Do you want me to. That was actually like pretty, uh, like very detailed. Yeah, it actually was. Do you want me to read the, uh, 
<laughs> they, 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 they gave an example. Those are funny. Oh, the guy says, hello, miss. My, I'll use your name. Hello, miss. My name is Nick. Very yeah, nice to meet you. Name? How are you doing tonight? You sound like that. <laughs> the girl. You sound like I know what I'm doing. The girl. Hi. I'm <laughs> Janet. Good, thanks. Guy. You're looking very beautiful, if I may say so. Guy to himself in his head. <laughs> you can read this. The Nick's thinking in his head. Man, I want to fuck this chick. <laughs> she got some big titties. Who says titties? Titties. I think Michael does. No. <laughs> and the girl says, oh, thanks. Yeah, so there you go. Um, this is <laughs> this is extremely informal, Jeez. but I mean, whatever. This podcast, <laughs> we do whatever we want. I feel like at, at um, this point, if you're listening to it, like you just but like, like us as people. I you, hope. Yeah, well, with me, <laughs> <laughs> like a lot. I guess with me and plus like, you clicked on the podcast. Game. It's about game. Yeah, we. I don't think I think that's all we're gonna talk about. We don't really have a topic. I was just yeah. gonna bring up the baddies. Oh yeah, we could do that later. Oh, I want to go over the like top five fast foods though. Michael, we can't do it all Michael, once. we're not doing all these. That's going to be a fucked up um, title. It's like fast nah, food, like, bad okay, game. On the topic of spin game, though. Yeah, Michael, hurry um, up and finish, bro. Because I've heard, I've heard stories of your game spin. I want to hear it from the man himself. It's just like... Jesus Christ. It's not Jesus. like... Really, it's not like all that. Like, So you don't got game? It's well... Cause what then, I'm hearing is like you just didn't have it early on because of like you were in a relationship. Well, just early on, like I didn't really develop it, but as time went on, like after high school, I started uh, developing more like confidence and stuff. And that's just the thing that I've learned is, first of all, you just gotta be super confident in yourself to just approach like whoever like you like or you think is pretty or something. Um, what do you mean by or something? I don't know. Like what does that mean? Just whoever you find attractive and say you want to hit them up okay okay you have to like have the confidence to do that and sometimes you gotta fake it though. i've even fake told confidence i've even told some of my friends this before like uh for me with how i how i would talk to girls and stuff if they just weren't interested in me uh at the start it was kind of like it was a little hard because i was like oh fuck like that kind of sucked like like getting, cry turned, in your room. getting turned down yeah i'd cry a little bit in the shower um yeah, so, they, so they can't see your tears exactly <laughs> um but after a while it it's kind of fucked but at the same time it's like i mean it's just, it really is just whatever like you kind of move on um but like if a girl's not interested what i've learned uh just don't keep chasing them <laughs> don't keep like don't trying to hit time. them up and stuff just move on like, just be like, okay, like, she's not interested. At least I tried. Thanks for the advice, Michael. Yep. What about you, Nick? What about me? How's your game? How's your game? Uh, I feel like we've, have we talked about this on the podcast before? I feel like before? we have. I feel like we briefly talked about probably on the, the In the Valentine's one, one we probably I think we, briefly talked about it. I've had two girlfriends who take that as a, Woo! what you will. Woo! Oh! I didn't like the first one. Oh, damn. Damn. I'm going to say that now. Well, Why'd you dare? Is this? Why'd you dare? Well, she's my first girlfriend, and I was like, I can't. Okay, so let's, let's do some backstory. I just from, had a, from Jesus, first drop it out. I didn't like. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? From first, no. Looking back on it, I didn't like her. Did you like her at the time? No, I didn't like the relationship. You liked her at the time? Damn. Yeah, I did. I wasn't just with her like to have a girlfriend. Well, at least you liked her at the time. Oh, my bad. I continue. We'll let you talk. Let me talk. So I, from first to eighth grade, I went to a, a Catholic school, like oof. uniforms, church, private school. You mean oof? It wasn't bad. That's fine. No, no. I mean, the teachers were kind of like... Mm. Bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, most of my... Pretty much all my classes were like with... Like my my uh, like boy class. Up until like probably seventh grade. And I was like already really uh, like shy and awkward. So I guess like when I went True. to... Uh, when I went to public high school. I just kind of like... Ooh. Met people in my conference group just from you just do it from trial and error, bro. That is. So I remember being on the bus, and this isn't really about spinning game, just about like me coming out of my shell. And I was just like on the bus, like in my RTC uniform, because like I joined freshman year. Got that shaved head. I think exactly. I did. And these like uh, these like football players were like sitting like next to me on like the other side, and they were just like, bro, like there's so many like fucking RTC kids like on this bus. <laughs> like I just look over to him, I'm like, yeah, bro, like. Like, we're everywhere. I said some shit like that. And he was like, dude, shut up. And, like, <laughs> I was just trying to make it, like, just talk to him. And I was like, Fuck. damn, dude. Like, you said damn. Just Did you just get quiet or you say damn? Yeah, dude. I just got quiet. No. <laughs> <laughs> if I had, like, 
the confidence now. He's like, well, f- suck a dick, Gentry, Gentry, whatever the fucking name was. You remember his name? He had a dumbass name. Dude, Gentry. gentry? Like, this is Gentry. What the fuck do you call your kid? You're just like a baby. You're like, about you call him Gentry. <laughs> but, um. What kind of witcher oh ass name is that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, um, then my freshman year, I, uh. I don't think I dated anyone. And then sophomore year, the beginning, uh, I heard this girl like me. I talked to her. Dude, she actually got, I don't know how she got my number, but she texted me first, and it was like some random ass number. I was like, I've been watching you. Who the fuck is this? I've been watching you. I've been, uh, yeah, pretty much some shit like that. I think you're bloody hot, mate. And then we had the same (laughs) RTC class together, and we sat next to each other. I think I had, I had your first girlfriend in my speech class. Really? Yeah. I remember I. She talked about me? No. I never knew you guys were dating. I remember I. Really? Yeah. I remember I sat behind her. Or, like, she was on the right. I think Cody sat in front of me. I sat here. I think she sat to our right. Damn. And oh, I, fuck, dude. That's so weird. And I remember um, she barely, barely, barely talked until uh, one time we had to we had to talk to people by us or something. Oh, yeah. And then she started speaking more. And I remember my first thought is I was like, this chick's weird. <laughs> no offense to you. Dude, I don't care. No offense, I, I, didn't I just know said why, I don't like her. I don't know why I thought she was weird. Um, He's a little weird. I don't know. It was, was like, yeah. but I never expected her to be like. I guess the way she is. Oh, like you just thought there was like a normal person. I guess so. I I don't know. Like I I thought she was kind of odd, um, but I no I never thought anything of her. And then I remember you were like, oh, like I'm dating this girl named this, and I was like, isn't that? And I asked Cody. He's like, well, that's her. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then after you guys broke up. And all that, and you were talking about her, and you were like spilling the tea. I was like, "What? Like, I never knew this chick was like, oh my god, insert, oh my god. insert here, you know?" Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, oh." Yeah, she was dumb. Like, <laughs> I feel like I'm just, I'm not like mad or like I gotta, still holding on to it. Like, just looking. You ever just look? At, it's like I look back at it like a middle school relationship. I'm just like, Damn. Yeah, yeah. Like, but shit was trash. But like, I get what you mean with like the trial and error shit. That's kind of like what I was trying to talk about um where like even though you may not get lucky or like someone just not doesn't seem interested in you that doesn't mean you like have to stop there just move on yeah, and dude, like, like they're not worth your time yeah and that's like with building I'm confidence learning that too. lately but you josh <laughs> right what about me what about you with spin game uh yeah. I've, I've never spat game this man before. has <laughs> go ahead and i'll let you say this it. dude what do you want me to say your stats Oh, dude, I've already said this before. Like, oh, yeah. Probably tons I'll just of say times. it again. I know you like it. Uh, <laughs> 100% success rate. Uh, I, I got one uh, one girl and been stuck to that girl ever since. I mean, I had other girlfriends, I guess, in middle school, but I don't count that at yeah. all. Because, like, I had two you girlfriends. You shouldn't even be dating in middle school. Yeah, I had two. What are you doing? I had two girlfriends in middle school. If you want to call them that. I'll work on your fucking color. Yeah. yeah. Dude, dude, no, it was really stupid because I remember. Basketball. I remember one of them. Um, <laughs> Is it wait, which one? The one that I did it for like a week. The like you, you didn't treat well. No, that that one was that one was like a month. Um, the yeah. week one, they they were both stupid because in all Ooh. honesty, in middle no no, I'm not Ooh. saying they're stupid. I'm saying their relationship was stupid because it, it shouldn't have ever happened. It wasn't a real relationship. It was like did we have a full like talk on Xbox about? It? These I think two? we did, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we did. About what? We, we had, the, uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But they're they're both they both weren't real because I didn't actually have I don't think anyone knows what love is until they actually experience it. Yeah. And I think in middle school all these people think that they know what love is, but they really don't. Um and I think that's that's a good we should talk about that. When do you think um when do you think is the time to say I love you in a relationship? Dude, I said it way too early with my first one. <laughs> We're probably dating for like, oh god, like two weeks. Two weeks? You yeah. said I love you? Did she I say like, that? I like, I got to class and I was like, I love you. I'm like, oh fuck. I mean, I like, say that. did she say it too? I love you too. No, she just thought she it was like, like cute. She's like, oh my god. And yeah, she, she walked into class. Yeah, she just said some shit. Even if it's like, <laughs> thank god. I feel like even if it's one of those situations where you're like, oh shit, like I think this the one. I still would give it time, like. But what's the what's the uh, what's the time frame, Michael? When is it okay to say I love you? Uh, Let's hear from the man himself. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe like. I think 
Pika. I was thinking, I was thinking a range, but I feel like that's way too long. Thinking what? I was thinking like, I was thinking of a time like range, but I was like, well, no, that's probably, I up. think it varies, dude. I can't be like, if you find your soulmate, that's the thing, wait like, two and a half months to die. like. It could like vary per, per person, but I say like maybe like three to six months, like into three to the, six dude. into the relationship. I was gonna say for me, I think. I do think it varies from person to person. I think it, if you feel extremely connected to someone, like you guys just click on mm-hmm. every level, then if you experience that, then you might say it earlier than someone else that's kind of going <laughs> slow into it. Yeah, but I do think regardless, I think a week is too early. I think yeah. two weeks is too early. Obviously. I think three weeks is too early. I think a month is too early. Wait like three months, dude. I that's That was my cutoff point. I was going to say what, around three months At is least. when... Because the way I think of it... I'd is, be freaked out if it was like third day. Like, I think I'm yeah. Be like, oh, no, God, okay. If it's hard. if it's day range, that's way... Like, bro, don't even like trip on this. <laughs> yeah, if you're casually dating, don't be like, I love you. Yeah, yeah just, that's, that's off Especially limits. Especially if it's casual dating. Like, don't go into like, I love you and shit. Because you don't even know if like, you're really going to be with that person. I actually just watched a movie called uh, The Heartbreak Kid with this guy. Did he get uh, his heart broke? Mm, was he a kid? He's kind of a shitty person. That's how it is. But it's Ben yeah. Stiller. Oh, and it's actually his dad's in it, too. Ooh. We just talked about oh. it. Uh, but pretty much he goes... Uh, he's like 40 years old, and he's trying to look for love. And he, he dates this girl, and they only date for about two months. And uh, she's going to leave on this trip to, uh, I think, Germany for her job. But... Um, if they get married, then, like, she won't have to stay because they don't make, like, married couples leave for their job. Yeah. So they marry him, and then the whole movie, they go on their honeymoon, and, like, he finds out, like, she's not even that good of, like, a wife. Oh, shit. So that, like, don't say I love you because it's, like, committing before you even well, fully like, know which, a person. Which means like, she ain't that good of a wife. Like, is she unloyal? Is she... No, she wasn't unloyal. She was just really, like, like annoying, like, <laughs> nauseous to be around. Like, for me... It's a funny I don't know. I guess, I guess it's, like, okay to, like, think oh maybe like like it's okay to think maybe like oh this might be the one or something but don't put those thoughts into like words just yet until like you're probably like three months later. Yeah, you gotta you said, fully know the person before it. you can say i love you yeah you i can't be like i love you even though yeah. i only know your favorite color i knew emily for about a year before we started dating we we were friends before we began dating and i know a lot of people say like oh no don't do that because you're gonna get in a friend zone i think that's the only way to do it i don't know why people like i understand you don't want to get in that awkward stage where one sees the other as a friend and then the other one doesn't yeah and then you make a move and then they're like oh no and you kind of are and i guess a friend zone i i understand the the i guess the how that's frightening to some people and you don't want that to happen um so they want to kind of get into it before they get in that zone but how else are you going to get to know somebody and i feel like it, a real relationship is where that person is more than just someone you are attracted to it's someone that you consider like your best friend yeah someone that's your, like yeah. one of your friends well, you can hang out with it's them. even better yeah that's what with my well, that's the thing. relationship like usually people people who are in like good like long-lasting relationships like they'll typically say like yeah i see this person as not only like the person i'm in love with but the person that i see as like my best friend like someone who i could just have like fun with like thanks as a for friend. reiterating what i said michael yeah. nice. that's probably the best way to do it. i'll just say like i agree with that also because my second right. girlfriend who uh, i'd give a four and a half star rating <laughs> out, of out, of, out of the first one out of, out of far is this out like of a Yelp okay i was about to say like damn bro you're like i give her a four out of ten like, no damn, four and a half dog. out of five is this like a yelp she lost half a star because that is true. Um, broke no, <laughs> that is true. Um, if you guys are still listening right now, are you excited for new episodes? We're gonna have a girlfriend review coming soon. Oh jeez. <laughs> Can we have like almost girlfriend review and just bring on like a girl you like and she'll just rate you as like? Yeah, a, that's a good one. That's a potential know? boyfriend. Almost girlfriend. That would be fucking. No, that's, honestly, that's a good episode. That actually, like, I, I would be. I would be down. <laughs> Dude, I want to bring more women on hey, this podcast. I would, Coming soon. We haven't had any girls featured. Your, no, my girlfriend. Your girlfriend yeah. I would be down to do like She's the awesome. girlfriend review and then um like the almost girlfriend review. That'd be a chill. Like the almost one would be really yeah, chill. Okay, that's a good idea. We'll put that in the notes section. That'll be coming soon. Yeah, I'd like to be on that one. That'd be funny to do. That'd you gonna bring funny. some hoes on here, Michael? Oh. All your hey, 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 no, not hoes. If Bro, you're watching, they're not hoes. <laughs> potential. Think of it like The Bachelor. We're pretty much doing The Bachelor. Yeah. I mean, technically, yeah. Uh, I thought it was so original until I was like, wait, this is like, <laughs> this is like The Bachelor. 
Oh. No, we'd have to find people that actually want to do it, though. I'm sure we can find people that want to do that. Yeah. So you don't see. That's yeah. like buying food after some some incentive. We'll have kings they can just on walk deck. out. Like, Fuck this. Oh, but <laughs> um, and that's the thing too. Going back to like the best friend kind of thing, or like you want to have like that kind of bond where it's like love, but also like a good like I think friendship that's like a high anything. risk, high reward kind of deal. Because yeah, it's exactly what it is. And that's it's, that's how it should be. Because like, if you're successful, it's gonna be like the most. Your your freaking endorphins and pleasure yeah. centers are gonna be going off like crazy. Like, oh my god, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be going hard. You're gonna be hyped. <laughs> Break them life. Yeah, my bad. Thank god um, this isn't like. Right I think whenever we do that, we have to like be away from. <laughs> it. Gonna, that's how it'll be. Bro, but, is there like an inner feeling you get like when your endorphins go off? And, like, you, it's a girl you really like. Yeah, and you're it's just like, like <laughs> bro, it's yeah. literally what we do. Like, just yes. every now and then, we're just like. <laughs> Yeah, I, for it's people like listening, aneurysm. For people listening, <laughs> we're making monkey noises. Yeah, all right, like, it's like the thing to do. <laughs> yeah, if you don't, if you're not making monkey noises, if you ain't making monkey noises, then you're, you're not. Doing? You don't descend. If you apes. ain't making monkey noises, why are you like, bro? You're like, a simp. <laughs> you ain't living life to simps, the fullest. Simps don't do anything alpha male, do they? Exactly, they don't do monkey I guess noises not. or anything. The only alpha thing they are is being simps. It's like, I'm yeah. the alpha simp. It's like, okay. And they ain't even good at doing that. When you say simp, are you, do you mean like the people that? Yeah, we just talked about this on a yeah, on Xbox. Yeah, but like, dude, we gotta find a way to like podcast on Xbox. A Skype like, call. Just have a mic Pretty in much... front of us as we talk. Yeah, a Skype call or something. But yeah, no, no, no. Dude, we do. The... All we have to do is each of us would have a mic plugged into our computer, and we would talk through our Xbox mic. But then we'd also have another mic recording it. I would be down to. We do would that, all though. just send each other, or send me since I'm the editor. Send it the me the audio and then I'll sync it up and dude yeah that's that's how we should down. actually try that for next yeah. one I would be down to do that because it's then like yeah the the late playing. night three a.m. exactly game dude. sessions are Bro. probably the best <laughs> we should yeah we should do a get a three a.m. podcast somehow and do dude there was yeah. a whole conversation we had and I was like dude that would have been a good like episode I there's forgot been, what the bro combo there's been was. a couple times where that's like been we just can't have like like, like like twelve people in the party though just oh, like yeah. all like music no like just with like the three of us or like something yeah. We chill. usually have good conversations like late at night. <laughs> um, the we after, about the after hours podcast. After hours. But, Let's call um, it Cosmic Kickback After Hours. Yeah, wait, what were you going to say about simps though? Oh, I'm, I'm not even going to talk about it. We've already had a whole episode but, um, on simp culture. <laughs> what I'm going to say though, because... I mean, Michael, we've already talked about it. Though. No, I I speak on it, bro. Drop your one comment on simps, Michael, then we're moving on. I wasn't going to drop a comment. Okay, I was going to talk you gonna about say? the best friend thing. And like, okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but what I was gonna say, cause I mean, with me, I guess with how dating's kind of gone for me is, uh, You're simping. no, um, but when I was like, when I had that whole phase, like where I was just like talking to a lot of girls and everything, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, like when I say ho. I'm not trying to degrade anybody. If you want to, you can do that. That's perfectly fine up to you. If you're young and you don't want to have a relationship right now, you just want to go have fun. You want to, don't take hoe as a bad word, I don't think. You'd own it. Own it. Like, if you're going to be like, whatever. Like, I no own- one, I'm not judging anybody. I don't think anyone here is. I owned it for like half a We're year. not using it as a de- derogatory, um, a derogatory term. I mean, <laughs> We're just saying, you know, Michael had a time when he was looking just for, I guess, like a lot of fun. Well, right? Pussy. <laughs> it, it, and it's, it, it's bad saying because like it's like i guess the excuse i'm gonna make but it's like bad saying it because it is like fuck but it's because like i was literally with only one person for like pretty much my entire high school like career career and like uh what did they call it high school i don't, I don't know <laughs> I, but i feel um, like that i feel like that's usually how it is when but, somebody's in a long-term relationship and then yeah you don't want to freaking yeah get it again like, yeah like right away you don't want to get right I, into another one you kind of want to get out of one you're like scared of it like, that's yeah, like you kind of want to just have fun for a while just chill you're not really looking for anything long-term any commitment you're just kind of chilling and then maybe eventually down the line no like, that's again. that's kind of how it's gone for me because so you there there was a time where i was just specifically like oh like i have the freedom to talk to whoever now and then i went into like that hoe phase um but because of that and now like and honestly like quarantine's kind of it's helped a lot because i've had time to just like kind of like just be by myself and like, just quarantine. like just like chill. Well, for Nick, me. Nick's got some. Beef Nick's got quarantine. some like. I think everyone's got beef with quarantine. It's bro, you got some beef with quarantine. Year. 
What is what's been ruined for you, Nick? Do you want to speak on that? My romantic life. The lack of girls. Leave, leave your feelings out here, Nick. Well, put them out. I don't know if we talked about this. Oh yeah, we talked we about that. You can cry. <laughs> Stop making this like a therapy session. <laughs> no, it's just like the worst time to get together with someone, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. I feel bad for all the people that were just like starting to get to yeah, know somebody. That's like, you were gonna sad, go on a bro. date, and they're like, Turn "Oh, on, they're like, starting to get feelings for somebody." And okay. They're like, "Oh my god, let's get this going." And then it's just like, "No, nah, everyone stay inside a couple months. Who, who knows how long? Maybe a year. We don't know." Because with oh, like, well, with people that are in relationships like yours, it's like, yeah, I'm "Oh, already I'm in already it. on I'm the chilling. front like, or, we'll date like just text, point, like just texting is enough." But like yeah. with people, that I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I I still saw my girlfriend for like the first month where people were kind of doing it. Once it became like. The lockdown type shit. I my or I was. I think if now I'm gonna take a hot take here. If you don't agree with me, like, that's okay. I'm gonna say you know I'm a controversial person. You know, yeah. I always drop in hot takes. Um, <laughs> hot shits. Yeah, hot. I'm dropping hot shits. Call me uh, call them floaters. So <laughs> I. Uh, <laughs> so I, what I'm gonna say is I feel like if if you're quarantined, let's say you live with your parents still and you're quarantined, everyone's there. For me, my mom was a teacher, so she's at home too, just like I was. Got my remote classes going on until we finished the semester. Um, Fuck Zoom too, though. Yeah, so... Actually, I know they're just trying to help our college, but... Yeah. yeah. But anyway, if you're... I feel like if you're quarantined, and you just... You know you're not going out, you're not being exposed to anything, and then let's say you have a significant other, and they're not being exposed to anything either. If you guys want to go visit each other, you both aren't being exposed to anything. So if you're just driving to your place to their place and hanging out, I don't see an issue with that. Because how the hell are you going to get get the quarantine, you know, yeah. or to get my bad, get, get the COVID-19. virus, get the yeah. virus if you're both being quarantined because you're just driving there. If you're not if you're not going out into a public place where there's a ton of people and you're not putting your stuff out yeah, of like risk to mall. get it. Yeah. yeah. So you're fine then. And that's the that's why I'm comfortable being on the podcast with everyone here because I know Nick's not doing shit. Nick's just sitting at home, crying. So maybe there's nothing wrong with <laughs> That's that. What you think I do? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, but I, I know we're I all do. doing around the same <laughs> things. I know right now it's starting to get loosened up. They just reopened like 25 percent of the uh, economy, so it's starting to reopen. Regardless, and if you think that's smart or not, like I'll leave that up to you. But it is opening. I, I, don't, I mean, if you're out with a mask, if you're only with people that you're quarantined with, if you're staying far away from people, just you know, take the precautions. Wash your hands. Keep your face masks on when you're in public and all that. Yeah, that's fine. And just don't be dumb. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. But f- because of that, um, I s- still hung out with Emily for about the first month or so. And then once things started getting like, I guess, <sighs> I guess, kind of crazy, and everyone was losing their minds for a bit. Yeah. Emily's parents, they are extremely uh, protective, I guess, or precautionary. They're very, they're they're scared of like sickness and shit. Like they're they're very yeah. germaphobes, I guess you could say. So obviously they were like, nah, like. Like no, no, no one's leaving the house. Like they, they were very on that, and so I didn't. I haven't seen Emily in like holy shit, bro. It's been probably over a month. I'm starting to feel like Nick. You need the I'm Emily like, fix. <laughs> it's like a I drug. Need, I need my love. That's all it is. Dude, and this is another thing. Like when quarantine starts, and you can only just kind of text that girl, the one that you love, the one you have, sure. the one that your heart beats Don't for. Don't generalize my case. Huh? <laughs> but, uh, it, like a bad person and I feel like me saying that's gonna make fun of that so let me just say Nick. when you pretty much when you just text them and that's all you do and don't have any contact it, at that point it just pretty much becomes a long distance relationship and that's really kind of like yeah, that's hard, all this hard is to right maintain now. and be invested yeah. in when like like just through texting yeah and it's nice that you can text them but like I think relationships it's even... require like like touch and like all like all the all these different things feeling holding all each other's hands yeah oh. and like don't it's have, hard don't have to eat it's hard it's in, hard in a sense though it's also a nice way because this is like your time to just like even though it does suck you can't actually see them but it's like the time to this just time get to, to know them fall in love with yourself. get to know them oh. like work on yourself <laughs> yeah. uh but yeah just text them and like talk to them so that way when y'all do hang out it's you're more like comfortable that. like well yeah it's and that that's a i think that's kind of like a positive and negative type thing because <laughs> Yeah, you're texting them, you're getting to know them through all this stuff. Because that's all you guys have to do is just you just get to talk to each other. But then you're like, man, this is going good. I'm getting to know this person. I really want to hang what? out with this person. I, I, like, this is awesome. Like I, My feelings are blossoming. <gasps> I, 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 I've decided I, I want this girl. And then you're like, oh, man, but can't, can't have her right her. now. 
And it's even worse when, like, you know the feeling's mutual. You know what? Yeah. It's like, very saddening. With with all with all these, like, locked... Like, with Damn! Like, with the lockdowns uh, easing up, though, it's... Because, uh, I mean, I don't know with this girl, like, if, like, you're still talking to her and everything. Oh, well, I was just talking generalized for everybody. Oh, I was, yeah. oh you I was, were talking about Nick? I, I didn't know if, like, Nick was, like, actually oh, okay. talking about... Well, I was someone. talking about... Yeah, like both my per- like personal experiences. But, it's okay, so. Nick. It's okay. All I'm, we'll get there. I, I guess I'll we'll get through this. What I'll like, add. On, what I'll add is like with stuff starting to like open back up and like yes, like you still want to take precautions, but it's gonna be like a really nice feeling like when you actually get to see that person. Yeah. Like, will you hug them? I don't know. Just give them. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Get to see. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Um, but um. Back to like the best friend thing though. Um, I've been on the best friend thing. Like, I, I just, well, I just. What else is there to say? I didn't really just say what you want. Come on, Michael. But with just that, say it quick. With that whole, on. with that <laughs> whole hoe phase that I You're went like, through. Uh, um, <laughs> you have like a Joe Biden moment. Oh my <laughs> just, god. Can you say the anyway? Three, back to three hundred billion, Charlie. No, I got <laughs> hairy legs that uh. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> Tur- turns blonde oh in the in the sun. I don't know if there's any people voting for you out there. Well, like, with, man, with that whole like phase Sorry. though, um, <laughs> kind of with looks. me now, whenever I talk to girls, and this I guess goes like with spinning game and everything, um, I'm so used to like us just like already kind of talking about like going out and everything, not like just getting to know each other first. Um, it's kind of like one of those spontaneous like blind date kind of things. Mm-hmm. Um, so. But I'm, yeah, starting, like I'm, start, I'm starting to get back, like, after this quarantine and everything, I'm starting to get back and start kind of, like, talk, like, text them, <laughs> get to know them and everything. You have a special someone? But, I don't know. You don't know? Is that a you don't know or I won't tell you? Uh, I don't. <laughs> okay. Just say I don't. Do you think you could grow, like, right. so say if I just start talking to, like, a new girl today, like, on Tinder or whatever. Do yeah. you think right. I could... A new girl? Do you think... <laughs> <laughs> I think I can build like confidence and like a, yeah. you know, a friendship over just text. Especially over I don't text. know because I know people like text from fucking New York and California and they meet and then like oh my fucking besties and shit. I don't know. I don't bro. know if that's just girls. Though. I don't know if guys could do it. I don't. Um, know. I, I feel like anybody can do it, but I think I'm not trying to rip on anybody and what they do because everyone's different. But <laughs> I I don't know. For me, I feel like. You can talk to somebody virtually, and that kind of makes it easier because in person, obviously, in the beginning stages, a lot of times it's kind of awkward. Both people are shy, not sure what to say, don't want to seem weird or off-putting. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's I guess the benefit of talking online. You yeah. don't have to worry about that. You're more confident. Yeah, you, everyone's always more confident just going through a phone screen. They don't. Yeah, they're not worried about like, anything. Pretty good. Um, but I think a negative from that is. Although that does happen, I think if it, if it gets to a point where you've never met the person and you're just talking to them, you've only known them through the screen, yeah. when you do finally meet them, and this can go either way, some people will have better confidence, I guess, at, after this. Some people will, there kind of be those people where it's like the memes where they'll be like, say, they're like, oh, like, like all this stuff over text and then when they meet up they're like they're that's what shy. I will say is and I think that happens a lot of the time like probably more than often in yeah, that situation that's they have like show catfish where like <laughs> yeah. people just talk with online and when they meet it's like what yeah. you do it that's what I will say though is uh, going into texting someone online and everything you gotta be sure you have that confidence that you bring online in real life as well yeah. if you don't bring it in because bro you're just you gonna meet, look like the whole thing's just a waste of time yeah Unless she's into that. It's like, oh, I was hell she They're like, oh my god, I was hoping you're a simp. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, yeah, that would yeah, be... That's... So that, that's what you wanted to reiterate by saying, back to the best friends. Well, I just... talk about online texting? Because I didn't really get to, like... Because everybody was, like, kind of talking over each other. Okay, so are you, are you, have you made your point? Yeah, I made my point. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> do you want to move on to a, a uh, main topic? Or is there anything else you want to spit? Uh, top five fast food. <laughs> Michael, stop. I don't know. I think that's all I gotta say about game. I think you just gotta come to practice. Very good. It's practice better to play the perfect. long game if you really like the girl. Because you know, look, trying to be your best friend's high risk, high reward. Start off as friends. Look, let me say, let me say this. 
from the start when I started talking to my girlfriend, I'm not going to say we were just friends for the whole year. I knew I was attracted to her. Ooh. Oh, I just got a... Ooh. Sorry, my phone Speak went of the devil. <laughs> no, it wasn't her. It was Jaden. Oh. Um, His other lover. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I, I was cl- it was clear to me when we first messaged that I... I thought she was attractive. She must have thought the same to me because she was actually the one that spit game on me. I didn't spit game on her. I was just she texting. On you. Damn, yeah. bro, she spit on you. I remember what happened. Oh, told me. Yeah, <laughs> and we were just texting normally, and I think she. I don't remember what exactly nice she cock. said. Man, <laughs> <Yeah, no. laughs> that's, exactly, that's exactly what she said. Hey, nice hey, but cock. I don't know. From but from the start, I knew that, but I didn't rush into it. I did text her. We would text as friends. There would be a little bit of flirting, I guess, here and there. You know, there's those people that are your friends and there's tiny flirts here and there, you know. Yeah, it was like that. And then uh, maybe like maybe like five months <laughs> after like that, I was like, okay, like I think I might, I think I might go for this. <gasps> then I got kind of scared and I got in my own head because I am very, um, at the time and even now, I guess. Not most, probably like mostly then. I'm pretty different now. I was pretty, uh, I guess... Uh, I I got in my own head a lot, and I kind of, kind of con. What's the word where you kind of? Conflict yourself. I overthink things. I guess is what oh, yeah. it is. I don't really do that too much now. I've gotten more um, acute. I guess yeah, I yeah. So, but I did that then, and I remember that was what held it back. I probably would have been dating Emily over three years by now if I wouldn't have done that because it was like maybe six months, and I think six months for me was fine. And I was ready to get in the relationship because I think that that's half a year. And I had gotten to know her like more than enough, I felt, to where I was like, okay, we're friends. I'd be okay to jump in the relationship right now. I don't say you, I don't think you have to wait an entire year like I did. The only reason why I did that is yeah, because I over, overthought for a long time. And then when I did, I was like, you know what, like, I'm just going to go for it. Let's do this. And that's how it is. Now let's move on to a different topic. Um, I don't know. Do you want to say something? Uh, well, because I don't know if you'll learn to talk about this, but... Uh, see the fucking restaurants, Michael. No, getting the basketball made me is think of right something, because we did discuss this, me, you, um, Elisha, and Krish, but I don't think Nick was in that uh, no, Nick, phone call, but... Nick wanted to... I think he wanted to play Modern Warfare. Basically, though, because um, this has been coming up, like, bed. it just came up on first take a little while ago Dude. as well, like, they made their own list. Oh, let's not but make the list now. I'm not. I'm not let's saying. Let's save I'm not, it for when we have everybody on. I'm not saying that we're making the list now necessarily. It's just like y'all kind of want to discuss like the NBA and everything, and like just players. No, I I kind of want to save it for the uh, the one where everyone's on here. Okay. But thanks for talking about that, Michael. Do you want to? Do you, Nick? This is up to you. Do you want to drop your list? The patty list, yeah, because oh, I know you, we, we were gonna do it a while back, but you were like, oh, I want Cody or Michael here, I want to hear their list. Fuck, let's do it with Michael here because okay, so you don't need Cody, Cody I love you. The list wasn't that great, that is true. I think we talked about that last time. Do you want to just do another the top five you already made, or you want to expand to a 10? Do you remember my list? I don't, I mean, it's up to you, bro. You made the list, it's not my responsibility. I just remember it took forever to fucking say it. Well, so Michael no. made like five lists in one night. It's, <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> actually, you pioneered the whole like it's because well, list. it's because Josh. Like, helps me kind of develop my list more thoroughly. And well, no, like, I mean, let me tell them what really happened. So, Michael made a list, and in his top five um, baddies or attractive females, yeah. he he had was, like four out of five of them were like in the pornography industry. <laughs> yeah, they were porn stars, and I I just respect to what you're gonna do in your life. You know, do whatever makes you happy, whatever you want to do. But I said, you know, Michael, nothing against them. But I feel like you could probably pick someone a bit better. I was like, I mean, they could be if you're attracted to that, like go ahead, like they're fine. If but I'm just saying, for me, I feel like you could pick somebody who is if just as attractive, if not more, but might be more successful in a uh, different. What is it? Job field. Job field, I guess. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that like if you want occupation. to be there. I'm just saying if. Nick was pornography picking... is not the top fucking no, job and to that, be, like that, be dating that, someone. Yeah, that, like probably someone that's well, like. And when Josh kind of explained, I mean, like we're not shaming it. We're just saying like, it, to me, it's kind of like, better options. Right? There's better, better options. options, and to me, Nick was naming a lot of Nick was naming like actresses, actresses like Hollywood elites type people. Yeah, that's because I'm a film buff. So yeah, Cody looked like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
Exactly. I'm gonna be like, and he also named like one or two like musical people, like music um, artists, and it's like yeah, because those people are just as attractive, if not more, maybe less, but. They're like an A-list star, so if you're dating oh, yeah, them, or if you're thinking that... I'm attracted, like, just to Nick how they likes look, money! And I'm attracted to how they look, and also what they do. I'm not See, gonna be like, oh, babe, I'd love to get fucking and that's, by three guys a that's day. Why, <laughs> oh my god, point out. That's why I switched it up, because Josh... So then Michael's like, oh, you're right. Josh made a good... Like, he did make a good point by saying, like, that, because technically, they, like, earn, like... That kind of reputation as like an actor or like actress or not like acting, just getting fucked. Well, n- no, I'm oh, not. Saying, I'm talking with like like y'all's <laughs> list, oh, the man. more sophisticated. I list. never really made a list. I think I just said, "Damn, Nick, that list but, is pretty good." Um, yeah, basically, like I kind of revised it and then I forgot. I was right there. All right, so we're doing. I didn't even write mine down, so I gotta fucking go from memory. Yeah, I gotta try to go from memory too. I, I know. Grab, who, grab your phone, Michael. I know who the first one is. I just gotta. Oh yeah, and this is another thing, Michael. Whenever you reveal your list, we're gonna start at five. Okay. And go yeah, to not one. three, two, five. We we were on Xbox with Michael, and we were asking him to like say some list, and he was like, like he was like, oh, want me to start at five? We're like, yeah, go to five and work your way down like a top five list. And he's like, all right. Then he named somebody, and I was like, oh, that's your five. And he's like, oh, you want me to start at five? And I was like, what the? What are you doing, bro? And then he was like, fine, I'm just not gonna say my list. And then <laughs> Michael just fucking. Because like, Cody was there, like kind of antagonizing. Yeah, yeah was, that too. Cody was like there antagonizing it, and I was like, bro, fuck this. <laughs> Alright, let me name some like attractive celebrities just to kind of get the baddie juices going. The baddie juices? Got the baddie juices? Scarlett Johansson. She's very pretty. Especially now, dude. I'm more attracted. Earlier, like Iron Man, like early Avengers movies, I was attracted to how she looks, but now I'm attracted to her as like a as, like an actress and all that, like everything she does. Like she's elegant. Yeah. Yeah, she's elegant. Mm-hmm. Uh, Natalie Portman, uh, Jennifer Lawrence, Emma Watson, mm-hmm. Mila Kunis, uh, Channing Tatum's apparently on there for a list of women. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is your list. No. no, I put Channing Tatum on there for something. Yeah, bro, yeah I'll put. No. <laughs> no, I'm just throwing out uh, names. Okay. Megan Fox, Emma Stone, King K, Salma Hayek. Do you know Ali Raisman? Brad Pitt. I actually think Brad Pitt's very attractive guy. he's an attractive man yeah I can say that with confidence bro cause like yeah bro mm. yeah do you know Ali Raisman I mm-hmm. think she's a gymnast for the United States team oh god Amber Heard's on here it's not attractive at all we talked about this last time we did did you find her attractive Michael mm-hmm. was showing Nick a picture of a uh, gymnast I believe yes I would she's very pretty Wait, she's like an Olympic gold medalist? Or yeah, what? she's a gold medalist. She won gold. Yeah. Bro, even if she's silver, I'd still date her. Congratulations. That's, see, that's that's the thing, dude. I would date someone that goes to the Olympics because, like, they have the freaking intuition and like, passion to, like, face. get there, dude. She's good at what she does. Pretty face. What's the... How's the song go? Pretty waist. She's a dinner plate. You got faith, hey. <laughs> I do not know the lyrics. Uh, uh, I that. All right, well, I'm going to go with my list. You already got it. I, I think so. Fuck. Hold up, guys. Oh! Take your call real quick. Uh, Michael's stepping out because he's getting a phone call. See, Michael, my mother just called me, but I sent her the voicemail because I am, I am, uh, I am, what's the word? I'm dedicated to the podcast, to the craft. The craft. Yeah. All right. She kind of muted. What'd you say? Hang on, Michael's walking in. He's making a lot of noise. I apologize for that. That was awkward. Michael. What about your mother call? No. Who was it? It was. Would you our, like, it was, like to tell the audience? It was our orthodontist calling for my little hey, sister. Michael? They were oh. like, hey, uh, is this Catherine Geyer? And I was like, no. no. She was like, is this the dad? I was like, no, this is her brother. She was like, oh, they have your sister's name. Like, they have your sister's name under your phone number. Should have like, said, oh. oh, that sucks. That's crazy. Hang on. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, I, I, fuck, I should change my list as we speak. Did I write it down? I, I think I remember your list pretty well. Hold on, let me write my shit. Write, write your current list how you feel, because I feel like top five lists are very, they're obviously subjective, but they're also very, uh, I, I can't think of a word, but it's kind of like, if I made a top five on food, like, of my favorite foods or my favorite films, that's very, I guess, it could change on any day. You know, like one day I might be... Can I say my number five? Shut up, Michael, I'm talking. 
One day I... <laughs> what you... I'm literally... I'm trying to... No, I know. I'm trying to make content and you're like, can I just... Can I name my number five? No, bro. <laughs> what I'm saying... <laughs> one day, if I'm making a top five on NBA players or like... Uh, I don't... Anything, you know? Films, music. One day I might be obsessed with the Beatles. The other day I might be obsessed with Tyler the Creator. Uh, it's not absolute. Yeah, it, it's kind of like Monday I'm feeling this, Wednesday I'm feeling this. It's kind of like... When you make the list, that's how you felt at the time, and that may change later on. You know? Maybe your number one will stick, because I feel a lot of people's number ones are like, oh yeah, that's my that's my shit. My number one, that is it. But maybe the fives, the fours, they can change here and there depending on how you feel. And I'm kind of just continuing to talk to give them time to make their lists, you know? So they... <laughs> <laughs> that's like he's trying to shit out there. Um, <laughs> see, I feel so winning. Musical or some women. <laughs> no, I, I mean, like in the music scene. <laughs> I wonder well, how. Women, I know. Is your different? Is your list gonna be different, Nick? Yeah, there's something different. Cool. I remember. Can I name your old list? Or you want me not to? Sure. I don't. I don't know if I remember it right now. <laughs> I mean, I know people that were on it. I just don't know. I know for a fact. I know who number one was. I know who number two was, and who number. I think I know who number three was, and I know. Who four or five was? I think I'm missing one. Michael's named so many lists. I just I forgot all of them. Fuck. <laughs> Damn, I actually don't have. Um, I realize like most of it is white women, which I don't know if that's. I think that is even. Everybody has a type. Yeah. There's nothing wrong. There's no, there's nothing wrong with anything. Women, no, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are they all white? Not, no, they're not. Your number one was not white. No, yeah. If it's the same number one. If you kept the same number one as your last list, then she's not white. Oh, you right. Yeah. Okay. I think you I think you <laughs> Actually, one of them, Dua Lipa, is uh, That is true. Turkish. Are you, uh, is she in your list? You give us a little, little tease. Give us a taste. Dua Lipa, isn't it? <laughs> oh, she's British. <laughs> Yeah, but what's but British? That's just like your nationality. If I was born in Britain and I was, I could be British. Yeah. It's British. What is the ethnicity? I think is which. Oh, that's what I like the nationality. <laughs> <laughs> to, to a leap of nationality, ethnicity. To a leap of is Albanian. Could have told you that. Could have told. Uh, her parents are from Kosovo, who left Pristina in the nineteen nineties. How exotic. Joe Exotic. All right, cool. All right, well, I'll, I'll name my list. All right, we'll, we'll start with... All right, number five. Let's go. Joe you guys Exotic. both number jump five. back. Jump back between your fives. Like, Mike will state his five. We'll let him talk about it. Then you state your five. We'll let you discuss it. Give a quick little, you know, why you why they're your five. All right? He's dirty cat on yours. And we'll let him, we'll let him see. Oh, I, I just gave him an idea. He's like, damn it, I forgot. No, no, no. Because I, I know think you talked she about was, it. I think she was... She's getting fucking shit on by the internet right now. Yeah, how do you feel... Hey, before we jump into the list, Michael, how do you feel about what Doja Cat uh, did to her, I guess... Yeah, not even that. Now people... There's, no, there's people tweets are, now that surface about her saying the N-word and... No, that's... And now, like, fans are shit. Yeah, Michael's about to... Michael's back at Battle of the Thunder. Clear, 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 clear her up. I did, I did read about that because I was like, what the fuck, bro? There's um, no way my girl did this. So it, <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like Billy Eilish. With, <laughs> um, but basically, it turned out like that all those rumors were false, and mm. she even came out uh, with like an apology, saying like I don't know like how. Um, I don't know how y'all got video of me saying that. Well, because <laughs> that's on even, y'all, not me. Even people like who were with her like at the time like came up as witnesses saying like no like we've never once in our life like talked about this or anything and they even have like conversations like back then that uh like will go on but yeah it all turned out to be like false um yeah i think everyone says dumb shit when they're kids and they don't mean it they, well it's like they always somehow come it's like when they had the whole phase like with all the celebrities getting called out for stuff they like tweeted or stuff like oh yeah back then like kevin Hart and all that <laughs> But I right, drop your five, Michael. Number so, five. Should Num- I number five? I have, I have. Thanks for talking while I did the voice, Michael. 
I have uh, two fives, but... Just fucking I'm, say one. Okay. What you mean I got two fives? What's this? What's like, it's, this? It's like a tie between them two. Michael. One of them... Okay, Michael. One of them is a... Uh, what, do they, what do they call them? Here, pick one for heads, pick one for tails. Okay. I'll do the one that's we'll more renowned in her No, 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 no. We'll do honorary mention. Okay, there you go. For Michael. What's your honorary mention, Michael, my since you couldn't decide? My honorary... <laughs> My Oni. Oh, I don't know how to say that, but uh, <laughs> it's gonna be. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be the the OK Boomer girl, Nico. LOL. Yeah, she's like. Give us some. Come on, give us some content. Do you know who she is? She's a. Uh, she's like. Here, I'll pull up a picture for you while Michael. Are we gonna post them like for each? Picture. For if you're watching on YouTube, well, I guess I'll throw up a photo of each person. Real. She's quick. like a famous TikToker. So you that, have like, so you have context of how they look. Yeah, if you're listening, right, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or anything, and you want to jump over to YouTube to see the visual of this list, yeah, yeah, yeah or you can look them up. up on Google or whatever while we name them. Up to you. Uh, let's get in. Keep going into it. Discuss your pick, Michael, and I'll show Nick um, what this. So basically, like. she's like this famous this TikToker that. A big part of like why she became famous on TikTok is because this OK Boomer kind of meme that she created, and I don't know. She's just like she's super cute, and like uh, her personality and everything from uh, watching TikToks of her, it's, it's yeah, great. It's, a person. it's like I got the it, personality for the TikToks. The way she renegades, man. <laughs> the way she renegades, bro. Let me tell you. Um. I don't know, she just, she seems like she'd be, like, a chill person to date and, like, actually, like, just get along with and stuff. Okay. Um, she's the oh, honor- I see. Oh, she's, she's my honorable mention. Oh, she's the girl that did the freaking, uh... Yeah, yeah that's the, yeah. the meme. I don't know if she posted it's it. the fucking, uh... What the hell was that meme, dude? What's it called? Okay, Boomer. Oh, yeah. no, that was the... She did it, that's but she wasn't the original one. You ever see that video of that girl that was, like... In class, doing a presentation, and yeah. she was doing it. And guys, like, oh, what God. the fuck? I love that meme. Um, yeah, she's pretty cute. God, dude, how she, fucking blushy are her cheeks? She would be my honorable. <laughs> she's just mention. always like freaking. I saw a meme where somebody. Uh, I, I saw a meme where somebody, I think, commented like, "Oh, like Nico, your cheeks. I noticed your cheeks and nose always look red. Like, is your boyfriend abusing you or something like that? You can message me." <laughs> If he, if she if he is What's and then Nico Lowe. and then some guy replied to him and was like it's called blush you idiot and then he was just like my bad bro and he was just, <laughs> he was just trying to like make a joke and then some guy like got mad and defended her online. Um, you know, I would say she's an honorable mention just because she's like TikTok famous so she's not like up there as like she an streams. actress or something. All right, all right. But that's kind of why I'd say like she's an honorable. Getting Nick excited. She's all right. Okay. But, so uh, that's that's your honorary mention. Okay, now let's go back to that in, normal list. Number five. Number five. five. Number five. Uh, would be Allison Stoner. Okay, we don't know who the fuck Allison that is. Stoner. She's a uh, from. Stoner. She's like an. Uh, Allison Stoner. Yeah, she used oh, to be Allison a Disney Brie. actress. The Allison Brie and Alexandra Daddario look the exact same, don't they? I I don't think so. Have you ever seen them in the same? Movie? I mean, it's okay if like. Is uh, this her? What the. No. This is Allison Stoner. That's some random chick off no, the fucking internet. This is Allison Stoner. Who is she? She's a she's a Disney actress. Like, well, she used to be she in a lot of, Um, here, all names on the movie she's been in. No, Michael. She she's okay, been I in, found her. I found her. She's been in like Cheaper by the Dozen and stuff. She was in Camp Rock. Who did she play in Camp Rock? Oh, she was this girl in Camp Rock. Oh. But it's because uh, so. I, she was, when I was, like, growing up, she was, like, one of my, uh, crushes I had, like, watching Disney and stuff. Um. Okay. I don't know. I just think, because, um, I just think she's still, like, attractive as she is. That's my personal opinion, though. Like, okay. obviously. Like, what no, does she do now? Is she a music or what? Um, she's, like, a motivational speaker, and she's also, like, a dancer, too. Okay. Um, she was on Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, she, oh, was, she did. Uh, she Isabella's was, um, voice. Isabella. Damn, that's a high pitched voice. But okay, that's your top. Like, Nick, that'd uh, be my number five. All right, Nick. Number, number five. five. My number five uh, is Billie Eilish. As after the she bill, turned 18. the bill after herself. she turned eighteen. Let's clarify that the <laughs> bill herself. It's not even that I, like, sexualize her. I mean, how could... Are you fucking sad, Jamie? Yeah, I was sending inside scoop to Jaden. 
I'm more just attracted to, like, her talent at, like, such a young age. Because a lot of people don't, yeah. like, amass that much fame. And she just seems, like, really down Well, she has a really good voice, too. Yeah. Like, just as a singer. I'd like to be her back now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I hope this doesn't come Wait, up. Josh, are you going to also incorporate on this list? I don't have a list. Oh, you're not going to do a list? I mean, I could do one. That's my number four. What would be I'm, your I really five? don't. Have, I don't have shit right now. Oh. I, <laughs> All right, number four. <laughs> I'll just get. I'll add some context to your guys' list as okay. a, a, I'll, I'll judge it. You know. Do that me. as like I'm looking for a number four. You don't have a number four. I have like the rest, but why didn't you fucking just push down Nico to five and then this one a four? If you don't got a four, what are you doing? Uh, I guess I could do that. All right, I'll this dude just said list. I got my list and then he don't got shit ready. So my number four is Julia Fox. Um, That's new. That was not on your old list. Yes. Who was that? She, uh, if you ever saw Uncut Gems, she made her acting debut on that with Adam Sandler. On Jaw? That actually recently just came out on Netflix. You should watch it. But she's really pretty. She has a lot of artsy things. Dude, she's so pretty. Nice Google woman. Is oh my god. Good images. If you guys are looking at her right now, she's so beautiful. Throwing her up on the screen right now. Look at her, dude. And she's got cake. <laughs> I mean, like, to add on to her face? <laughs> Dude, like, cake. that's what you look for in a and baddie. she got cake. Yeah, she makes out with the weekend in the movie. Do you think she liked that? Yeah, do you think she was like... I don't know if she likes it. Just hope she likes it. She was about it. <laughs> uh, number three. Wait, hold on. Okay, my number four would be... Bitch, uh, you don't have fucking shit prepared. No, 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 no. Do you no, have no, a four, no. Michael? Do you have a four? Like yeah, I just, I just thought of my four because I was talking about her. Um, it would be it would be uh, Ali Raisman. Is that the one you just that's said? That's like a gymnast. Yeah, she's. How the... do you spell her name? Ali. She's Ali and then R A I S M A N. Ali Raisman. Let's throw her up on the screen. Oh yeah, she's actually pretty thorough. Yeah. So she's pretty thorough. I said she's pretty throw it out oh. on the screen. I thought you said she's pretty thorough. I'd like to be thorough with her. No. <laughs> Jane, if you're listening, bro, fuck you. You're getting on my nerves. Anymore. Okay, so this is your four. Allie Raisman would be my four. Right, congratulations, Michael. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and name your three since Nick had to skip over you because you didn't have a four. So just name your three right now. Uh, hey, you know, yeah, I don't got out. it. <laughs> you know what? My three would be. <laughs> Do you even have your list, Michael? Did you make a list? Yeah, I I've been like thinking of this like from what I said like that night, and then like uh I've even like the Allison Stoner is a new like add to the list. Okay. Oh, but did you name? have a Do you have a list made? I don't have it like made. Oh my god! Just kind of off like. Off the dome. Bro, we're not bringing this dude back on for a top five. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> you gotta make your list, man. Let's see. Uh, oh, hang on, let me think. Um, this this one's pretty good. Janelle Monae, three. Oh yeah, she was on your last list, right? She's the yeah. girl that uh, was in that song. How do you spell it, Michael? We are J A N E L L E, and then uh. Okay, I found it. Yeah, she's definitely up there. I like that. She's, got, I mean, better, bro, she's you, got better hair than you. Even with the cut, like. It's a weird hair. Bro, she could rock any haircut, honestly. I think, uh, no. No, I'm just kidding. I think it is. Uh, All right. I think. <laughs> Trying to name your three now. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, my number three is Dua Lipa. Dalip herself. It's a Dua Lipa. <laughs> yeah. Everyone knows who Lipa is. Yeah, if you don't, dude, like, dude, she's. I think she's like number two, like in the world according to Spotify. Put a new album out. Do her thing. That the new album is very good. I I, Dude, I, yeah. I like it a lot. Very easy. Delete. Shut up, Michael. Yeah, she's really cool. just kidding. Michael. <laughs> it's trash ass. <laughs> Delete. I don't even know how I heard of her. Actually, I think I heard of her like probably <laughs> a year or two ago. <laughs> that that is not. Her. I mean, Michael can't spell. You probably that typed that in Dulapa or like Dulakilik. Like the no, book. that's what can't. Dude, it was Michael, someone else. Spell D U A space L I P A. How, do you not know who Dua Lipa is, Michael? No, I don't. What? Get Dude, off. she has such a cute little accent, too. She's like, listen to my new album. Oh, <laughs> I've, like, seen her before. Yeah. What's her real name? She, I, that's her real name, Dua Lipa. Really? It's, like, something like Dua... Blah, 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 blah. That's her, like, real, real name. 
Yeah. That's cool. Dua, which means love in Albanian, used to be a source of embarrassment for her, but as she grew older, Lipa learned to appreciate the unusualness of the name. That's a really cool name. You know, her name Love. How do you guys? Oh, it's Duka. Her full name is Duka Jean, like that. Duka. So, D- how do you how do you guys feel about um, unusual names? People like I like them. I wish I had a more like strange name because like trying to be like an artist right now and make stuff. Nick. It would be. Yeah, I looked up. Your name rides of Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, fuck that Joey. Thing. <laughs> You guys are fucking amazing. Yeah, Every TikTok he just dick. Man, the pasta. I'd like to fucking go to a meet and greet. Okay, my name's Nick. Yeah, my name's Nick. What's up? Like, uh, imagine being named. No, dude, I think having like a a very unique name just adds to like how cool you are as a person. Yeah, I'm definitely. Like, I'm, I'm not saying like you're not. Cool bro, I'm gonna be naming my kids some whack shit, bro. I'm telling. Yeah, you I want to name my daughters like Elise or. My son, wow. like fucking Avery or some shit. Amazing. I was thinking more so, like, I'm naming my. Dude, I, I want to name my daughter Sabrina. I think that's Sabrina. Cool. I love that name. I think I it's so. Sabrina. It's cool, bro. How many people do you know named Sabrina? You know one? That's my cousin. I, I know a couple. Fuck her then, dog. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I, I think it's like. I, I think it's it sounds so chill. Sabrina. Yeah, it sounds like that. I, I like uh, names you don't hear often. There was one name I heard. I think it was in a movie or something. Dude, what? I, I gotta start embracing exactly. Ishmael. Call myself Nick Ooh, Ishmael. Ooh, that is a cool name. Nick Ishmael. Dude, that should just be my fucking stage. Alright, all right, yeah. So, my Michael, stage, let's go. did you name your three? or was I named... Yeah, Yeah. And what's your three. What's your number two? We're getting to the top three. Nick, you can go first this time. No, Michael, it's you. We're going back and forth. I, I, do, do I did three. it first. Yeah, so now it's your turn because Nick just named his three. Now go two. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Uh, God, this dude is not being on the list next time, bro. It'd be, <laughs> God damn. It'd be Marilyn Monroe. Talking to the mic, Michael. What you doing? It'd be Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> All right. Is that the girl that JFK is? Classic to? pick. It's like, yeah, the theory, like, they supposedly... He had an affair? Supposedly. Damn, they fucking robbed his target, dog. Oh, yeah. Anyways. You hate, it. You hate to see it. Please. Everyone knows who Marilyn Monroe is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Decapitated. Suppo- what? Yeah. yeah. Really? You didn't know about that? She died because... Why didn't we watch the fucking BuzzFeed Unsolved on this one? Well, then it's not like she was murdered. Yeah. She was in a car accident where oh. a telephone pole came down on the wire. She was in like a convertible. And it's just like... It was fucked. Oh, fuck, dude. That's... Oh. They find that curve. That's how it be, bro. Dude, that's one of the worst ways to fucking die. Just get... Oh, classic photo. The classic photo. Yep. Quite white. Aubrey Hepburn is very gorgeous. She's beautiful. I didn't think about her. Or Natalie Wood. Yeah. Yeah, Natalie Wood. Natalie Wood died. Natalie. Yeah, I actually... Quite interesting. A movie... A mo- I need to do that for the next episode. A movie I watched called The Great Race. Me and my mom loved that movie. She's she in it. Ooh. And then, like, after you watched that BuzzFeed Unsolved about her supposed murder, I was like, holy shit, that's her. We gotta do, a like, uh, our version of, like, Unsolved. Yeah, we gotta do one, but, like, come for pay. I wanna be, like... Yeah, I actually... Like, she was mur- like. I have a, a lot of unsolved mysteries that mm-hmm. are actually they have not done them like unsolved themselves. They do haven't that. done them. Bro, send me them. I'll help you. Research. I have a ton. Yo, like I that... have, I have mystery because there's so many, dude. There's hundreds and hundreds of stuff that's been unsolved, and they they're picking. They got a lot of the good ones out of the way, but there are still very interesting ones that I I've actually found. That'd be like a here. cool like evening episode or like late night episode. Dude, we could come back and shoot it after the gym, bro. That's what true. Um, we'd actually get the table in here because I don't want to be yeah. fucking. We gotta sit down, holding my fat. Well, like we gotta do the voice like uh, Ryan does on the unsolved. On the thirteenth of November, so, nineteen eighty-five, yeah, the Brewer family. <laughs> He's so good at that. Yeah. Fuck, dude, Shane's my favorite though. He just doesn't take shit. He does seriously. not give a shit. I love when He's they. Like, oh. I love when they go. Um, <laughs> when they actually go to the when they do the supernatural ones. Yeah. Oh, they, they go Shane out, does they, not. They, Ryan's just like, holy shit. He's like, he's like, did you hear that? It's like he goes up to like a fucking doll. Like, oh, it's, it's like supposed to be like. <laughs> it's like I invite you all to get into my body and kill me. It's like, <laughs> it's like do something to me. <laughs> Dude, it's, a, it's such a good like. Uh, what's the word? Big, um, they have a good, good dynamic. Yeah, yeah, they're a good duo one together. One scares the other. Just so um, I love, but, I love their show. But man. that's the thing. Like we should, we should look. You do that. Like just turn unsolved, and then like su- and then like supernatural. Like 
Those yeah. would be kind of cool episodes. To you know, do. we actually, Michael, you, me, and Cody went to the Donkey Lady Bridge. Yeah, we could talk about like those. We kind could of... actually, we should go out and make a fucking. I want to do the cons, yo, cons, bro. Josh, imagine doing like like we, we do bring, it now. What the, like, imagine bring yeah. bringing like mics. Yeah. Imagine like bringing mics or something and like doing it yeah, at I'll, like the I'll bridge. Bring all my equipment and shit. We need to get a night vision camera. That'd be chill. That's all we need, or else like, it's gonna be it could like, be a dark as hell. That'd be that'd be a chill like uh thing with the podcast like have it as like the podcast but like a cool like video too where we actually go to the place yeah if you guys don't know the donkey lady bridge is like a a supposed cursed or kind of spooky place in san antonio where a lady apparently her donkey drowned in the river and she drowned trying to save it we'll do more of the story on that like they actually the unsolved the unsolved team they actually did something i thought they came here because they have an episode called they haven't they should they, because they, we have like, there's a hotel here that's supposedly haunted. Also. The Minger Hotel. Yeah, but um, anyway, they did a the Minger Hotel. They did an episode where it's called the Goatman's Bridge, and I oh. thought I thought it was it because I watched the video. Yeah. I watched the video, and the bridge looked very similar to the one we have here. And I was like, did they come here? And then they said they said we're traveling to Texas today for the. And I was like, what? <laughs> but it's Texas up like north yeah. of Dallas, like high oh. north, and it's a similar tale of a bridge. That one was funny. They did like a fucking seance in the middle, and uh, <laughs> is the they, Minger Hotel open. I don't know. Yeah, haunted. It's can you get yourself a room in the room where it's supposedly you haunted? could. Oh, I would love so, to do that. How they have it? Because the thing oh, is, the reason why I would love to do like those is because <laughs> when I was awesome. little and growing up, I loved doing like supernatural stuff and like do you reading believe about in ghosts, it. Michael, I do. So, I'm so not gonna lie. You're, like you're like on the Ryan side of unsolved, kind in, in a sense, because... but I'm not like like I'm not. Like where he's there's no just judgment so, here if you believe in ghosts to say it. I do kind of believe. Don't go go don't tip your foot in and then take it out and say no. Well, it's like with extraterrestrials. I kind of feel that there is like other life like on other planets that we just don't know about yet, mm-hmm. or like. That so do you believe in ghosts? But yeah. I okay, mean, Nick, where do you lie on it? I believe some of some of them. Yeah, I also believe in like weird creatures and shit like the like cryptids under. I right, don't throw me in that boat. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that is. That's that's like those like weird creatures and shit. Oh yeah, that's okay. what they're specified as. Well, then I mean like shit that's like under the <laughs> like we haven't discovered so much of the <laughs> <laughs> what. <laughs> laughing <laughs> michael is out of nowhere like cryptids <laughs> don't throw me in that i don't shit. know what that word is bro that could be like fucking flying humans or some shit that was... no that's literally like what they specify <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is a cryptic dude this sounds like a fucking star Wars bro you can you can literally you, like you can Mike, literally get a degree Mike, in that shit Mike, know we're you can get a degree like leprechauns it's called uh <laughs> It's like, Dude, if those were real, that would be fucking cool. It's like cool. cryptozoology or something. Oh, shit. But it's literally the study on, like, those kind of creatures. Oh, I'm stupid, dude. Cryptic means, like, uh, like mysterious. Yeah, yeah. It does. I thought he meant, like, a creep. This dude's, cryptic, like, like, thinking of, like... Yeah. Well, yeah, okay, I believe in cryptics. Like, oh, I... Man. But, I feel like out there there's freaking... Have you seen stuff they pull from the ocean sometimes? No, yeah. That, like, like, are not even documented in, like, our, I guess, fucking zoology I mean, books? I know some of these people, like, making these creatures and everything, like, all these names, like, the donkey lane and stuff. I feel like they're seeing something. They just don't know how to exactly, like, describe it. Yeah. Like, because there has been stuff that's been unveiled, like, uh, to society that we've just never seen or, like, it's just been hidden. Well, last year we almost had the freaking biggest Area 51 raid of the, the, fucking the murder entire hornets. history of the world. The dudes got scared. They didn't go through. I mean, those are just hornets. I'm more interested no, but like, the thing what's is, the government hiding bro, from us. We didn't even know about murder hornets until they came from Asia to, like, our, like... No, country. Michael, I knew about that shit. I know about that shit. That's just on you. You don't say we. If you're uneducated, that's on you. Don't don't throw me in that dumb boat. Oh my god! <laughs> throw me in that dumb boat. boat. It's gotta be the fucking same. Bro, you made Josh me. drop to the fucking ground. Uh, all right. Oh. Uh, that, to uh, that'll be that's a that's a good. Let's uh, talk about idea. that after the list. Yeah. yeah. Keep Hop about. into the uh, number two, Michael. So number two, I said I, I said Marilyn be. Monroe would be number two. Oh yeah. So it's oh, yeah, so we talk about her dying. And yeah. And now it's your turn. number two. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how we got into that tangent. Yeah. Anyways, shout out, hold up, shout out the Unsolved crew. Great yeah, content. Yeah. Dude, great content. Definitely link in the bio. 
Dude. And then also, they actually... Um, Please go check out this. Shane and Ryan, they left BuzzFeed. They're still doing Unsolved, but they're doing it as, like, freelance work. Yeah. Oh, hell they yeah. They don't work under BuzzFeed anymore. Like, they're not interns That's or whatever they started off as. They started their own channel. Shout out to them. I'll put it in the Dude, description. Right now. They're called Watcher. Watcher. Just look up Watcher. Um, which is actually based off of one of their episodes where they have the Unsolved episode. I don't know if you've seen it. But there's a guy who called himself The Watcher. And they have an episode. They have a channel. It's called Watcher. Oh, they got the guy from fucking... Uh, from uh, uh, the Worth It. Uh, worth yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. And so he's in there too with them. Those are the three. Um, the Worth It's pretty cool. Oh, shit. Shout out to all of them. They're going doing their own content oh, now. <laughs> Dude, all of their thumbnails have like a creepy like Grover looking doll. Dude, those videos are awesome. It's, <laughs> it's the puppet the history, bro. Oh, puppet history. Oh, my God. It's Shane gets a puppet and he tells, like, a history lesson and shit. Damn, dude. Good, um, good content. I, lo- I love those guys. Quite inspirational. No, no. Um, so, yeah, shout out to them. We'll put the uh, we'll put the Unsolved uh, channel down below and yeah, then also... Really suck, and then their own their own personal That's channel. That's what we aspired to be. That's yeah. why we started this. That, yeah. Very true. I'd love to meet you guys. Yeah. yeah. I actually... They had a... They, they said, like, we're taking questions for the thing and I said, you guys want to be on the podcast? <laughs> <You're> <laughs> oh, shoot my shot. <laughs> dude, I'd love to interview them. Bro, that'd be dude, awesome. Can help us out. I would love to interview them. I'd fucking do whatever, bro. Yeah, those are like the people. Do going I, back to what we said. Like, I don't, I haven't met them, but they just give off the vibe. Like, do our unsolved. Like yeah. Our unsolved with them. That'd be chill. <laughs> okay. So, like, so back to. So, yeah. Shout out to what? them. Uh, Nick, you're number two. You're number two. Uh, number two is Margot Robbie. Okay. She's an Australian. Okay. Uh, she's doing a lot of movies, actually. Most recently, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. The, the side character she answered uh, yeah she's just really pretty her accent you like, I think girls with accents as, as I like looked Aussies? at my list like Billie Eilish not no accent at all <laughs> kind of like an emo voice Julia <laughs> Fox has a little bit of like a Brooklyn accent because she's from New York I think okay but I think she's actually a bit Italian uh, Dua Lipa definitely a British accent Margaret Robbie Australian accent then my number one definitely has an accent okay I respect the listening. I will say yeah. Margot Robbie is a very successful, very uh, elegant woman. Quite inspirational. If she's I do a very, say she's a very good actress. Like her different characters she could go into, like how quick she can from my like, Wall Street. You know, neither have I. That's a good movie. Dude, Dude, whenever I, I tell that. people like, and I, I get on the film guy or whatever, <laughs> that, they're just like, "You haven't fucking seen this." No, that's so a like, good. That's I'm a good sorry, movie. Bro. But he's busy watching Finding Me. So now the number one. <laughs> what a good oh. Well, hang yes, on. Yeah, you're number one. All right, yeah, Michael. If you want to so, just cut off Margot Robbie like that, no, sorry. If you what's your number one? Look at the photo. I what's your? To, I need to see her. <laughs> I need to see her. She plays uh, a great Harley Quinn. Shout oh my out god, her. she does. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah she I plays Harley it on Quinn. The she did, but, <laughs> dude, yeah, she was in Birds of Prey. It just came out, yeah, yeah. a couple months ago. That's what I was saying. Like sandwich, bro. That's my number one. Yeah, the sandwich in that movie looks so fucking sexy. Yeah, dude. Oh, she's so just the way she bit it. it at the end and then winked oh, yeah. at the camera. Bro. <laughs> Throw a picture of the Margo up right now. Her commentary. Okay. What an interesting name. At first, I thought her, she was, it was pronounced Margot because that's how yeah, it's spelled. It's like Margot Robbie. But it's Margot. What? See, that's an interesting... Yeah, like... I like... That's a that's a quite... That's like Dua Lipa. Yeah, that's a nice name. But that's the thing, like... Also, Billy. Like, what's her... Is her, her real name is not Billy. Like, she just have... What is it shortened it's of like William Eilish? <laughs> William, <laughs> William Eilish. What's her? Will. What's her? Are you name? Will? She's a freaking Chinese. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. What's her real name? I don't know, guys. Is her real name Billy? I got you. There's no way. There's no way her parents are like a birth certificate. Billy. It's Eilish Pirate Baird O'Connell. Pirate. <laughs> her first name Billy is Eilish. I- Bro. Irish Pirate. Beard. It looks like beard. Pirate beard. O'Connell. All right. Well, her parents obviously were drinking a bit when they fucking. Had That's it. a cool first name. That's Eilish. A Osh, that's a Eilish. Eilish. Pirate beard. O'Connell. Billy Eyelash. Billy. That's awesome. All right, Michael. Name your number one. So my number one would be uh, Ana de Armas. Oh. <laughs> that's my number one. What? I mean, no surprise, dude. She's a cat. Bro, she's literally like. Dude, amazing. she makes me like. Who's she? Who's she married to? <laughs> she like, makes dating? you simp. She's dating Ben Affleck. That's who it was. Oh, that guy's taking all the dubs. Bro, this he's year. yeah, he's literally taking dubs. He's taking all the. Fun he was out Batman. Of for himself, bro. He was in Pearl Harbor. Like now <laughs> he's, he's like in Pearl Harbor. 
spoiled the movie. We oh. spoiled the movie? Oh, yeah. Like, well, I've never seen yeah. that. Movie. Like, bro, dude survived for all <laughs> Yeah, dude. Good for dude him. wasn't alive then. <laughs> <laughs> well, good for his, his dad. Because then he could have Yeah, bro, he was like freaking Batman. Like, He's my favorite Batman. Despite what you think of the movies, his, his He's a good Batman. Is Batman. I, I gotta watch those. We can come back and have my this full is, thoughts. This is what we should do, next. Extensive DC universe. Because yeah. I've only seen a hand. Let's watch. Like, three this is what we should do. When we have, because we haven't been able to really do any reviews on movies like we used to do every Damn, now and then, because no new movies shit. have came out. So I was so hyped for that James Bond dude. Yeah, fucking Anna de Armas was in it. That is true. Bond. She, there's a freaking true. in the trailer. She does a fucking okay. flip with the gun, and she's like, right, amazing. <sighs> what we should do? This is what we should do. We should do like series. We should start with Man of Steel. We should watch it, mm-hmm. and then we should come on here and review it, give our thoughts of it, uh-huh. like as if it was as if it just came out. Then we gotta we, watch them together too. Yeah, and then we can go on. You've never seen Batman versus Superman. I actually think it's good. The theatrical cut, I will say, has issues, but the ultimate cut. Oh, there's an ultimate. There's a cut, and they add like thirty minutes more shit, and it actually changes the rating from PG thirteen to R. So they add more shit in there. I won't say He's what. Like, Suck my dick. <laughs> fucking like dick super Clark. Clark. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very Clark fucking cunt. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> chill out. Okay. Hey, Batman said that. He didn't do yeah. So I actually I respect <laughs> that movie. I will say Justice League is not a good. It's oh my god. This is not the one that introduced Aquaman. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I like how they. Made I like the Aquaman. I think they make him a little like blonde synth guy. How he is in the comic. I mean, he's cool in the comics, but like, but like, come you on, kind of have to modernize. He's like a Chad. Like a they definitely show, did, yeah. They made Chad. it. They yeah. made him more of a Chad in the comics. Chad. So yeah, I mean, Justice League has a lot of issues. It's definitely the worst one, and I think if it was made right, we wouldn't have lost Ben Affleck exactly. as Batman, which sucks. But I feel like he might come back though. With well, Snyder Cut, I'm hyped to see it. You know, yeah. we we. It's coming out. We just talked about it. Yeah, Henry Cavill actually just confirmed returning to yeah. Superman. Yeah, and I I said this before. It's gonna kind of snowball effect where he's like, he's like oh, oh. Ben, yeah. Ben, he's like, Henry's is that you, Ben? Yeah. And so it would be Cavill. interesting because we're getting Robert Pattinson's Batman with Matt Reeves directing. I would like to see, which Robert is interesting. Pattinson. But I hope that's just a spin. I think it is. I don't think they've confirmed anything at all. It's kind of, and that would be very interesting because that would separate them from Marvel. If they could do multiple different little things, because I think they've already kind of done that. Yeah, with, with Joker. Joker. Yeah, with Joker. And DC and they found success and kind of yeah. like just stand alone. They found a lot of success. And I mean, with Joker that. passed a billion. Right? If they, yeah, if it was yeah. the first rated R movie to do so, or rated R movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What the hell? Because rated R movies don't get as much money because you got to be eighteen or older to. Wow. It limits your audience. So yeah. to get that, that much, was the hardest stomach. It's a success. Too. A lot yeah. of the comp, the critics. Dude, bitches, bro. bro people, I mean, look, it's your they, opinion. They're honestly, trying to ruin opinion. like the thing. They were saying, do people come shoot it up? Like, who the fuck says that? What the fuck? I hate people like who like the critics on they try a lot to of movies. Slander something's good movie. Yeah. Anyway, back to Anna. Great pick. <laughs> great actress. Yeah, dude, she's beautiful. Oh, Her, amazing. She has an accent. Is she? What is she? Eyes. She Cuban, Latina. What is she? She's beautiful. She's angel. <laughs> That's true. She has green eyes. Yeah, she does. Very rare. I think green eyes are actually rarer than blue eyes, if I'm correct. Yeah, especially on like dark skin. People. Yeah, I her eyes are. Eyes. They are very. They're like green, but there's a little bit of little hazel brown, light brown in there. It's. It's like staring into the void. Ana de Armas is a Cuban Spanish actress who began her career in the drama film Volado Santa Placida. She moved to Spain and later to Hollywood, where she began being featured in several. Amazing. I, I think the first time I saw her was in Blade Runner 2049. Yeah, I thought Joy was so pretty. No, I was like, oh shit, she's a real person. Quite attractive. She is very pretty. But, uh... Yeah, I didn't make a list, but I agree we'll, with... We'll come back with Cody and Josh, and Cody will be their lists. Yeah, I'd love to see Cody's Just tell us how you like this one. Yeah. So there you go with that. Uh, before we wrap Amazing up, content! Before we wrap up, there's the top five we've been waiting for a long time for. Before we wrap up, we can talk a little bit about unsolved if you want to yeah so uh we've been talking about this for a while but i've been really wanting to do cosmic vlogs damn wait show me how to do that how the fuck do you slap bass bro i just pulled it i it kind of gives you the same effect oh wait because bass strings are thicker right? yeah you can pull the shit out of these bass strings i probably could We'll do it, we'll do I'm not going to do it now. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking blow those. <laughs> uh, but I've been wanting to do uh, cosmic vlogs for a while. Kind of just like behind the scenes of yeah. how we shoot this and like our daily lives. Because, you know, we're people. Yeah. I don't just turn the camera off. and. Well, we can do some cosmic content. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> we've, been to, 
did we talk about this on the podcast last time about what? shaving our heads? Yeah, we did. Okay. You know, it's Emily won't hear this part. She's probably asleep by this point. <laughs> she she goes to sleep. She falls asleep to our podcast. Damn, bro. <laughs> I mean, I, I can how I can get how it's like ASMR. I wish I didn't shave my head at the start of the year because I would have low key done that with you. You can still shave it. I think I'm gonna go I mean, full yeah. bald because I'm gonna. I'll I'll cut it down, but I'm not gonna get like a razor and shave. Oh, my, I'm not gonna I'm do get the Heisenberg. Yeah, I'm just gonna do like <laughs> I'm gonna get like a one or two. Because if I'm shaving my head and then after this, I'm, I think I'm gonna grow it out like you got here. You know, yeah, dude, that'd be cool. But yeah, yeah. Cosmic Vlog, if you guys want to see us uh, do dumb shit, Cosmic Unsolved. Yeah, Cosmic. I mean, we gotta call, come up with a different it. name. Yeah, Cosmic. cosmic. What's we just need to find a word that starts with C and also means unsolved. <laughs> we gotta go off this freaking. Cosmic mysteries. I don't know. Let me see. I got you. Um, no, but I think one of the first ones we could do is like a classic going to the Donkey Lady Bridge. I, and I, was, I guess we would kind of just post on the podcast channel. I was going to say, we could like have a day like where we just go, because there's the Donkey Lady Bridge, there's the Minger Hotel. I'm not saying like we have to do all this in like one like evening or so, but like the stuff around just like where we live is Donkey Lady Bridge, the Hunter Railroad Tracks. The, yeah there's railroad tracks that if you go on them oh is uh, that they the hands? move and yeah. you could actually like if you sprinkle baby powder it mm-hmm. said you could see the fingerprints of like yeah. the children i'd love to see that happen. we could actually also go to that abandoned neighborhood that's yeah we could go around. there too that, that's, not, that's not really haunted it's, it's kind of just like exploration it's kind of it, om- omnibus or omnibus. it's not haunted but when we went there it gave off like creepy vibes because you don't know like what's <laughs> oh my god cosmic confusing Okay, that's what? confusing. What the fuck? Uncanny Cosmic. Dude, that's cool. That sounds that's like an X-Men cool. comic. That is kind of cool. The Uncanny Kickback. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, we're not kicking back, though, because it was full. Yeah. We'll figure it out. I don't know. There has to be something we'll, with we'll the get some names. Yeah. I have... I have a... We actually... A lot of us have a lot of ideas for, like, a... We've talked about... Like a squad. Like a squad. I don't know if I want to make a whole other YouTube channel. Honestly, I feel like we should just put other content on this channel we'll just figure it out because like you know, if it's called cosmic kickback you know it's the podcast yeah if we call it something else it's going to be a different type of content I feel whether like, it be a vlog whether it be yeah. something well, we feel like cosmic kickback should just if we decide to do that it should just be a like our squad brand and then we'll still have the podcast and other stuff we know? could yeah. do that though like we just continue doing this, i like that. we just have a section that's just like squad vlogs <laughs> yeah. yeah we'll figure it out but yeah yeah i uh Dude, I, I really want to go to the Donkey League Bridge now. Yeah, dude. The, nice. the one you thing do it like Friday or Saturday. Yeah, I'd be down to do it. Uh, the only thing that kind of um, I only I almost got um freaked out once when we went the whole because we went before. I'd love to do it again. Be will be more extensive on it because earlier you guys both said you believe in ghosts. I actually don't. I used to, but that was when I was like ten years old. Maybe eight. I can say I'm not as afraid of them as I was as a kid. Yeah, I, still I think that's, that's what I can there, say but too. But I'm not like oh, I'm psycho. Yeah, like, the fuck. You if you believe in it, that's up to you. I I I don't really believe in it. I'm not here to burst anyone's mm-hmm. bubble. I would still love to do it as that'd be fun. I, mean, I could see the fun in that. But I personally, I I think a lot of the stuff can be explained. Mm-hmm. Like when you hear a little that's true. thing, I could be like, oh, the house is settling. Yeah. Or something like that. I'm not trying to shit on I, that. I agree with that. But I feel like uh, I'd have to. I really. I would love to see a ghost. Like if I would love something to happen where I'd be like, "Holy shit!" and then change my mind and make me believe it. Or like maybe yeah. not see something, but just yeah, like just something. like like you know. said, like experience like, something like happen to you. I'm not fully like believing in ghosts. I kind of just. I'm someone that's like I have to see it to believe it, and that's why stuff like. Uh, like when I saw that Chernobyl TV show, or like when I think about nine eleven, like that shit like terrifies me because it like that's reality. You know? Yeah, but, um, I don't know. I, I yeah, I would what, like to see. This. Yeah, because I, I think there's stuff. What I was gonna say, like I would like to do that this weekend if you're down. Um, but I mean, that, it works great because if you both or if Michael seems like Michael believes in it pretty hard, Nick believes in it, but he wants to see it, I guess. I think it's out there. It's good. It's good to have. And I, I've always we said have like this, a good, like spectrum. when we, when we do um, our movie reviews, good I love it. Movie. I love it when I love the movie and Nick hates the movie or vice versa, because that adds a lot. Yeah. Of, that that adds great like content. That. Just do a whole yeah. episode. Like, no, fuck you both. Yeah. I love something like that. Because well, the if, only, the closest we got to that was when we did Rise of Skywalker. I said it was, eh. uh, yeah. I said it was okay. You guys both really liked it. It's a little heated. Yeah, what I really yeah. like about like I like when that happens. What so I like this about, would be good if you guys yeah. believe in ghosts and they have someone that does. What I like, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. What I like about our vibes is like the vibes. you have, um, and that goes to that as well because 
we're all in a sense also like totally like respectful with each other's like views and thoughts on like everything yeah, there's too. no hate there's no foul so it's it's good to have that kind of atmosphere instead of like having someone just like argue with you because like they don't yeah. like your views um because be yeah. then like, you have me yeah, i don't want nobody to hide what they're feeling if you think you just saw a ghost or you're feeling something say it yeah if i say oh no i'm chilling like don't think i'm shitting on you i'm just being, you're just chilling dude one yeah. thing i actually have wanted to do and i don't know if you guys would be down if we had the necessary gear but i've always wanted to go like there we have to go to a certain spot in san antonio but like the quarry where we can enter in through like the sewer system oh shit and obviously like to see an obviously during like yeah, a, trying a dry to see, like... week not like <laughs> when it's fucking rained we're gonna be down there like Ew. waist high in some rat shit um <laughs> But I really want to, like, explore something like that. I would that. like to do something like that, like, where it involves, like, climbing and shit, like, with, like... Yeah, that'd probably be, like, like ropes and shit. Um, but... Go find Bigfoot. Yo! <laughs> um, Bigfoot. It'd be chill if, Sorry, like... Out, big. <laughs> <laughs> like, because... So we just, like, we used to do that. I remember when we would go up to probably. Pennsylvania, um, like, to see my cousins, we used to go Bigfoot hunting, quote-unquote. Oh, Michael. Like, we would go into the forest and, like, actually... Nah, bro. But, um... I don't know. It's... There's a lot of interesting ideas we can do with that. I'm excited to expand. Do more. I'm gonna... I'm gonna buy the uh, the Osmo. That camera. Dude, yeah, that would be the perfect camera if you can go to. Um, that's actually... Because I, uh... I've been saving up a lot. And, um... I'm actually looking to get a camera as well. On Jaw? On Jaw. On on Steph. (laughs) On Steph? (laughs) On Steph. You heard it here first. You it's on heard Steph. it, bro. Um, but that's the thing. What I was going to go back to the donkey later bridge and stuff. Donkey it would be nicer, too, because we could start at a good point during the day and then, like, go towards the evening. Because last time we tried it, first of all, it was more us, like, kind of joking around with it. Like, we didn't really get to, like, experience and, like, stay there. And then on top of that, we didn't have a lot of time. Mm-hmm. Or, like, we didn't really, like, use our time wisely. Because, uh... It pretty much was just like, oh, like that's the Donkey Lady Bridge. Let's go now. Well, we were and there then, for a little bit. I remember. I remember you were freaking out, Michael. I remember you were like, oh my god, like, is, did you guys see? I remember you were really it, feeling shit. It don't, I, don't feel embarrassed now. No, I'm not. I'm to not you. It's not that I'm embarrassed. It's the reason, I guess, why I kind of freak out with like that area is because it's when I was little, and this kind of ties into why I kind of believe there's something is because when I was little there we actually did go to the the donkey lady bridge we went to somewhere else too um but we had an experience like that because my my uh my dad and my sister went down to where the like riverbank was like to where she's like supposedly supposed to like roam the area and all of a sudden like you just heard like this like really loud like screech and then um all of a sudden, my dad and my sister just, like, started running back up. They got into the car, and we just, like, hauled ass off. So, what have you believed in ghosts since then? I've you, kind of, you had, like, an experience? It's, like, because of that kind of experience. Um, and there was, like, another time when I was up at my grandma's. Um, but also because I also... That was one of the biggest things that I liked to watch when I was little was those supernatural shows and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, where they actually go, like to these places and they go like looking for this stuff um because there's been some pretty like pretty crazy stuff that like i've seen on those shows and it's kind of like made me more like be- like skeptical to believe it because i'm like maybe there is like something out there i don't know but yeah that's kind of because like i've also kind of had an experience i don't know what exactly it was but it was like an experience put together, in like a, a squad paranormal team yeah, that would be confident, competent. Not and re- yeah. I feel like most people that believe in the ghosts, like yeah. you were saying. I like that Cody on the squad. Yeah, I felt comfortable and get rough him up. Well, and also Cody, like we could be, be like, rough. oh, go like chase like down. <laughs> no, we're not gonna use him as. We, <laughs> we gotta move as like pairs, you know. But we gotta be like the mystery. What are you game. saying though? Oh, I was saying most people that seem to believe in ghosts have some kind of um, like experience. Yeah, like they encountered something that they believe to be. How, uh, 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 what is the fucking word? Like, not of this world. Well, Whatever. or just something you can't explain. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd love to do all that. Yeah. Get into that. Uh, also, do some 
Let's do it. This do some true crime unsolved mysteries that I have I'm, saved. We can I'm talk down. About. I'm down. Let's do, do it. it. Okay. So next episode, hopefully we'll find. We'll probably be in that room. Right? Yeah. We'll set up all of our stuff. Get the, desk. Get the case. Have a desk. Get the case ready and like. Have a desk. Like this. It's not awkward. If, you, if you're my, on YouTube, you can see how we're sitting. It's very odd. <laughs> Turn my back. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll get a better uh, setup. Oh, we're know, upside down. <laughs> um, but yeah, get the case ready and like send it to me so I can do my research. And I'll I guess I'll study on a certain part of it. Okay. And then uh, I mean you're gonna be part of the uh, paranormal team. Hey. Yeah. And I mean like I kind of already team. know a little bit like about those areas, but I mean it's always nice to like get more like info the and stuff. Yeah, Michael's always. Ooh. I like that, dude. Michael's always the. Um, I'm always the one with like. Down, down. If Michael they if they ask about something, holy I. Shit. <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 not you. I'm just I'm saying holy shit in reference to what you do. It's like just, I'm laughing about it. It's just because whenever yeah. it's weird because whenever they talk about like a certain thing or like say it's like in a game or like something like this, I always have like an answer that they're like, bro, only like like they think only like the game developers should have known that. Yeah, that's why I said holy shit because Michael always does this. We'll be, it's like we'll be talking about a game will be like damn bro like this game's lagging but i was like yeah it's because it's kind of like we're having some layoffs at the company right now so they're not there to like i don't say we're having no, some layoffs <laughs> michael has said shit like this before and that's why it started because we were like bro what the fuck you're <laughs> acting like you work for like rockstar the most whack shit i'll be like is the servers are full and that's like a like anyone knows the fucking game servers get full no but like it'll be like an it's easter like, yeah, or something in the game that the office, uh right? like we'll yeah, be Michael's up. Shit like that. And it'll be like yeah these dude guys, do you work for them it'll be like yeah bro billy give actually, me money billy's been in the studio recently she's got a new album drop in december 5th it's gone to we'll the say point. Shit like that we'll be like, bro what the fuck it's gone to the point now where i just kind of make Michael's it into like, a meme around. but it was like yesterday when michael out of nowhere sent a he, we're, we're all chilling. We have a group chat together on Snapchat. Oh, yeah. And he just sent us a video of the storm clouds. And he was like, we've seen some possible whirlwinds going on around. <laughs> and he just like gave a whole forecast in this shit while he's at work at HEB. And then I was just like, oh, Mike was a meteorologist now. And he just fucking gave us the whole forecast. Like, yeah. By the way, it, the rain completely missed our area. It went so, it all us. It it was, I thought it was gonna move, but I looked at the freaking uh, the radar map, and this was yeah, like it us, was, and the storm went like completely. It, yeah, we're just sitting in the eye totally of the fucked storm. Up Bernie. Yeah, man, that was a storm. It right? fucked us up. The power, the power went out at the storm. Damn, Damn. yeah, it's crazy. We H-E-B? Xbox, no, and I low key, I was oh, like, H-E-B. I was like, yo, guys, I was like, imagine like power <laughs> out, hide and go seek in the dark in H E B. Oh my god, dude, that'd be so chill. Yeah, I don't think they do. Um, my age. But <laughs> that's the thing, though. Like with this whole supernatural stuff, um, I would love to. Uh, I I've always like Michael Sighting is calling them. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, he's probably calling. It's Michael Cody. Yeah. Uh, we'll wrap it up. But that's the thing, though. Like when when it comes to like wrap supernatural it up, Michael. You said stuff, that's the thing six times. Sorry. Uh, when it comes to that kind of stuff, I've done a lot of, like, research in the past about it, and that's how I know, like, all the places in San Antonio. Okay, so you'll be the researcher. Sounds good to me. I want to be the camera guy. Okay. Josh, you'll be the, the fucking, I guess, ringleader. <laughs> oh, yeah, also, you'll be, psych- you'll be uh, audio in this. Or whatever. we got to figure the rules out. Cody will be the fucking... I'll walk around. Cody will be the intern. We'll set, like, a time to go, and then, like, yeah, we'll just... Yeah, all right, guys. Haunted Kickback. Game. Hopefully, we're going to shoot it. That's the name. Got a lot of stuff coming. Haunted, haunted kickback. kickback. Yeah, it'll be a separate series. That's actually pretty chill. Like, fuck yeah. It's, it's New content better. coming. Hopefully, Saturday, we'll go to the uh, <laughs> Donkey Lady Bridge. Hopefully, we'll shave our heads. Hopefully, we'll do a bunch of things. Saturday, for sure. Are we going to shave, shave our, our legs before we go, or are we going to... Shave our Oh, my God. We shave after. Dude, honestly, I want to do it, like, soon. Shave your face? Bothering. Shave your eyebrow? Fuck no. Yo, Michael, chill. All right, thanks for listening. Uh, this is... This is a pretty good episode. Yeah. We came up with the haunted shit. There's a lot of content for you guys yeah, to dive into in this episode, so I hope you enjoyed that. From it, game to hunt. What the fuck is the thumbnail for this? Yeah, we'll get Every episode, out. we talk about two totally polar opposite topics, and then I just, I'm stuck with <laughs> this designing the fucking episode. thumbnail. <laughs> it's fine, bro. We good. Uh, so yeah, if you're if you're still listening here, thanks for uh, sticking to the end. Uh, if you, no matter where you're at, make sure to subscribe, follow us everywhere. Cosmic Kickback, that's it. Look it up on Twitter. Look it up on Instagram. Yeah, everywhere. Follow us uh, to know when stuff is dropping. Stay in tune. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and we got new content dropping soon. On the way. All right, bye guys. So see you next week. <laughs>